Are you live? You're live, surfer. Hey, chat, and welcome back to this edition of Cooking with Surfer. Now, tonight is a very special edition. This is episode 20, so it'll be a special episode. I got a little bit of a treat. Might be hard to compete with episode 10, where we did PB and J for the chat. But this time, on episode 20, we got some frozen rock lobster tails that I got on special. Now these are rock lobsters that came from the West Central Atlantic, Haiti. So they came from Haiti. So there's some sort of voodoo fucking magic in the lobster tails. There's some voodoo magic. We Is got there poverty some... and dirt as well? <laughs> That's what I mean. We got some chicken and broccoli fucking, I don't know what the noodles are called, they're sidekicks. I called them flat noodles, and PPP thought I was serious that they're actually called flat noodles. Well, that's what they are. They're flat noodles, pal. That's what you said. Well, that's what do you want it called. What do you want the stream called? And you, you know, fucking. I, I think those are fucking fettuccine noodles. But they're like cut in the sag. Well, Doc Dick says they're fettuccine. But the reality of it is, sir, for I asked you what we should call it. You said <laughs> flat noodles. Flat noodles. Rock okay. Lobster, You're flat noodles. And you know, one thing you may notice in the thumbnail, we had mixed vegetables, but we've had a change of heart since the thumbnail, and tonight we're doing some corn. And okay. they're green giant. People were saying that the no name brand was ghetto. Other people said it was Kino, that you didn't have to submit to the bigger brand. But now we have the Jolly Green Giant. Well, these ones are grown in packed in Canada. We're supporting the Canadian fucking corn farms. The Canadian you know? <laughs> corn farms. <laughs> but, you know, I don't care whether the canned vegetables are compliments or fucking Green Giant or fucking Campbell's or Nor or whatever other fucking brands are out there, you know? Just, I grab whichever one's well, fucking Flying there. Terminal says, yeah. Surfer, your English is worse than a French-Canadian. Um, Grim Cheers who's been doing a lot of based uploading and based work, go subscribe to Grim Cheers in the chat. Look him up. He asks, what beer is Surfer drinking? Steam Whistle. It's you know, Steam Whistle. I wasn't going to drink any beers today, but I just got thinking about this second fucking lockdown they're trying to push because of this fucking second wave, and it's got me fucked up in my mind, you know? Like... Just Joe is fucking testing the Chinese military vaccine in fucking Canada like a fucking traitor, you know? And this plot mixed with the fucking second wave, it's got me fucked up a little bit in my mind, I'm not gonna lie. So I fucking, I'm drinking some beers. <laughs> you know, to bring my mind back down to a fucking regular level. So, first, you're gonna take your fucking, you're gonna want some of this tinfoil. And to be honest with you, I've never cooked lobster tails in my life. So this is about a new experience for me as it is for you. But we're going to make it happen here tonight for this special episode. Felix Culpa says, don't drink the Kool-Aid. Well, how are you going to be cool if you don't drink the Kool-Aid, buddy? All so, the cool kids are doing it. Don't here, you want to be cool? On. What are you doing? Fuck the Kool-Aid for a second. Oh. So, how to get a good fucking measurement of this, make sure your piece is the right size. If you hold it over top, you know it's the right size. You pull it out, you hold it over top, and that way you're not guessing. Now, it's easy to fucking rip her on one of these if you just go at it. But the key is, because there's like the fucking serrated blade along here. So, I find if you just sort of fucking push down on that edge, you know. You just get it all the way down. And then you can just pull her out and just get her a little bit by a little bit. Just a little bit by a hey, little ask, bit. Did you play the Lotto 649 tonight, Surfer? No, no. I don't fucking get lottery tickets or anything like that. I buy a chain link instead. That's fucking Surfer's lottery, you know? Minky Marines rise up. The Linky Marines are going to rise up there. So, you want to take your fucking, you want to go shiny side up. Because you see there's a well, shiny side and a not so shiny Terry side. Terry Dactyl says, lol, who can't tear tinfoil? Well, so, look. Look at that edge, buddy. 
Look at it. Look at the two edges on this fucking tin foil. And that's because we tear it properly. If you don't do it properly, you're, it's going to rip on a weird angle. So you now, can't half ass it. You know? Zippy McRecked asks, how does Surfer feel about you guys' picture being in the latest Murdoch video? You know, like, you know, like PPP told me that, like, like he was really proud of talking to Daddy Jim, you know? Yeah. That was, like, one of his internet goals. There we go. I talked to Daddy you know? Jim. For me, like, the biggest accomplishment I could ever have on the internet is being in a Murdoch Murdoch episode. I truly fucking love that program. It's my favorite show there is, you know. I genuinely fucking love that program, you know. So it felt really good to surfer <laughs> in it on the front page news of the Murdoch Murdoch episode. And in fact, fuck. I ordered the Murdoch Chan mug from their fucking uh, their fucking merch store, and I think it's coming tomorrow. I, I thought it might be here today, but it's fucking not here today. But I think I'm gonna have the Murdoch Chan mug tomorrow. I'm pretty fucking juiced about that. I'm not gonna lie. I've been watching the fucking UPS tracker every day, waiting for it. They're, so they're saying you look real happy, Surfer, and the dopamine's been activated. Oh yeah. Surfer love dopamine. So you want to fucking take your tin foil and you just sort of want to form it to your pan. So you see I'm just sort of forming it. You want to make sure you get it nice and tight to all the fucking corners. Before you bend her over or it's going to fuck with you. So you want to get it nice and tight to all the corners. Maybe fold a couple of these the corners. Chat's over. trying to tell me I should break the Murdoch Chan mug. What scumbags, you know? Like, break the Murdoch Chan mug, PPP. Crush Surfer's Dreams, PPP. You yeah, know? Buddy, just... when you order something from their fucking merch store, it takes like a month and a half before it fucking gets to you, you know? I've been waiting so long for this fucking Murdoch Chan mug. I also got the Faustian Spirit shirt coming from them. When I think about their shirts, they're fucking shirts they have printed in like the Dominican Republic, probably for like 50 cents, and they charge you like $40. Like shipping in for these shirts that they fucking get from the fucking Dominican Republic. Like you'd think <laughs> with their fucking politics and everything that they'd maybe fucking like make their shirts in the States. You know, as opposed to import them from the Dominican Republic. But no, they don't. But that's all right. You know, their program does a lot more fucking good than it does for them by them fucking ordering their shirts in from the Dominican Republic. And don't Republic. they charge you like $40 for the t-shirt too? Yeah, well, I already said that. Yeah. You know, but I give them a pass on that stuff because their program's so fucking good, you know? It's just the best show yeah. of that they're fucking ever had. Spaghetti Boys is saying you need to shave your sideburn surfer. Yeah, you know, I fucking, I got a couple fucking pieces of acne here that have been fucking preventing me from shaving. It fucks with me. I don't like shaving with the fucking acne, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, yeah, one of these days I'm going to fucking shave my fucking chin and, you know. Trifox says that you have herpes. Fowl <laughs> says you have herpes. Nassim says you have herpes. Uh, Henry Allen says you've got the herp. Um, flying Terminal Sorry, says, Surfer is, is your fun. herpes My ex-girlfriend, I get, get fucking a cold sore once in a while, you know, so maybe I do, that's alright. Dr. Ape says it's definitely herpes. Well, we'll be sure to trust Dr. Ape's fucking opinion. Dr. Ape comes in here to A-Log. I actually made Dr. Ape watch the entire prequel trilogy. You know, I trolled him so bad that he actually went and watched the whole prequel trilogy. The poor guys, you can't be serious. Well, I'll watch it again. You know, so I hate it. You know, it's like, okay, buddy. Like, you, you, you. <laughs> oh man, the prequels are the best. So I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna take the plastic off these fucking rock monster tails, and they're in more plastic. Like they're fucking sealed in plastic, sealed in fucking plastic. Gun oh. fears the starfish says the gun guard doxed you, surfer. He said your name is R J. Yeah, it is. It's R J Finley. No, surfer, no. <laughs> no, surfer, no! They're saying Lex Broken says to leave the plastic on. <laughs> what a terrible idea, you know? It might be my first fucking rodeo cooking these things, but 
You know, you don't leave the plastic on and put them in the oven. Like, that's the most retarded thing you can do. The plastic will, like, melt into them. It will, like, first, like, tighten up and then melt into them. John Mundane says, pray for surfer. No. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take each of these motherfuckers. Now, it's like a nice little plastic bag that they're in. So, you see, we can uh -huh. just sort of... Luciferian Playboy Slider says, be careful before you remove the plastic. They're spastic and may jump up at you. <laughs> Buddy, if one of them did that, I would fucking jump and scream. I'm not going to lie. Like, that would scare the shit out of me. If one of these fucking things just jumped up. Like, it's from the fucking movie Alien or something. Well, they're spastic, bro. Be fucking careful. They might fucking jump. <laughs> Terry Dactyl says it's a Chinese farm lobster. No, they come from Haiti. They're rock lobsters from Haiti. Lee Babu says surfer needs to impregnate, impregnate Jamie Lee. Uh, are you going to impregnate Jamie before eggs go bad there, surfer? Save Jamie. No, Jamie Lee's probably not fit to fucking have kids anymore, naturally. She's, how old is she? She's only 34, surfer. No, like, Coach Red Pill says you shouldn't fucking date a girl over, like, 25 or 26. Like, personally, I wouldn't date a girl over 22. Well, that was Coach's ultimate advice. He said the advice used to be never date a girl over 25, but Coach knows it's 22 now. That's what he believes. Fuck, well, realistically, it should be fucking 20. <laughs> 18 to 20 is the range. So, fuck. Try Fox is saying 19. Now, what does fucking chat think? Fuck, these are still sort of fucking... They're frozen. It's fucking over. It's gonna be tough. Here, I just I need the fucking just I gotta drink this beer and I'll figure it out. So what does Chad think? Because you know I sort of expected that when I took them out, the fucking bottom wouldn't be there, that the meat would be exposed, but the bottom's still there and they're sort of frozen to it. Doctor Ape says disaster incoming. You know I'm gonna cut them on the other side. Like I'm gonna flip them. And I'm going to cut them down here. Just do Buddy a solid says, cut. the Russian guy says you need to boil them. College of the Air says the plastic bags are so you can boil them. You fucked yourself. What do you mean? I'm just going to put them in the broiler. I Doc that's Dick, all I had to do. Doc Dick says you should microwave the tails. Uh, Flavor Town resident says should be boiled. Morning Afternoon says no split them is right. Alfarius says it's ruined. Hey, let me look at he the says it's recipe. chunk. Let me look at the fucking recipe. Terry says bottom minute, with child. cold Technical running water. Technical fucking difficulties with the lobster. Chef Surfer is fucking busted out the Google <laughs> device. Fuck, I closed the fucking recipe already. Cook lobster tail. Oh yeah, I fucking passed the fly check there, pal. You passed yeah. the fly check. We got murked, bro. You passed the, the chat thought you didn't pass. They're Jews. No, I passed. You know, I was fucking... No, it must have been yesterday I was walking down the street and I had my fucking fly open. And I thought of that. I noticed that. You know, you're old on the Sim says you have a nice bikini line. Yeah, I probably got a bit of a fucking. A little bit of a fucking line there. Spaghetti Boy says you need to smoke them for five hours. <laughs> We're not smoking them for five hours, you know. It's gonna be a long night if we smoke these motherfuckers for five hours. Calfarius says this will not work without boiling salt. Boiling salt? Yeah. Are you fucking high? What I'm gonna do? Here, because eventually I'm gonna boil the anyway. My Mycroft says coffee cup, water, microwave, done. No, no, put them in the microwave like a fucking moron. They say that. What it. I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put them under the broiler for like a fucking minute before I fucking cook them, and that will fucking thaw them. But eat. flying terminal says surfer heat them in the microwave and eat them with ketchup like a hot dog. No, that's a terrible idea. You sure? 
Yeah, we're just going to dethaw them for two minutes. The Russian guy says, do not thaw them. <laughs> Try Fox says, that's jokes, bud. What, you just think we should eat them fucking frozen? You know, like, holy fuck. It's like the guy from the X Files episode just eats the fish. NPC, NPC so forty two like, says no. You gotta cut them. Henry Allen says eat them raw. They're good. Okay, one more minute. Try Fox says it's a rotisserie lobster. Uh, let's press one in the chat if we should do the polar bear liver mukbang. Press 2 if the polar bear liver mukbang is a bad idea. What's wrong with the polar bear then? Everybody wants the polar bear liver <laughs> mukbang. <laughs> well, maybe I'll be cooking with sir for 30. We'll do the polar bear liver. Polly the polar bear says no. <laughs> he puts 2. He doesn't want us to eat his polar bear liver. That's fucking classic. It's the Jarbo Alt. Polly the polar bear. Jarbo Alt. Okay, there we go. See, the thing about polar bear liver is it contains a deadly amount of vitamin A, so if you eat even a small amount of polar bear liver, you'll die. Okay, so now they're relatively thawed that I can cut them with the fucking scissors. You see, I just used a trick. I put them under the broiler for like a fucking minute. Now they're asking, would Surfer wear Poli the Polar Bear merchandise? Now, last time I cooked lobster, I cooked full lobsters, and we don't have anything to open the shells. So that was a nightmare, too. I, we fucking had to crack it open with a can opener and these scissors. So I'm fucking hammering this lobster with a fucking can opener. You know, Axis Fiber <laughs> says it's still frozen, you goof. It is still frozen. <laughs> you fucking goof. Well, Terry Dactyl do? says cut top straight down middle. Well, what about the bottom, though? Doc Dick says you need to hammer fist the lobster at that point. Razmaz says buy a machete for the next episode. Oh, that's nice and easy. Interdimensional goes, now you just have hot frozen lobster. <laughs> well, it's not hot. So you want to get right down the fucking middle there. That's working. What do I think about the Killstream having a sodomite on staff? Is it confirmed that Ralph has hired a homosexual as a co-host? Well, Ralph is a fucking filthy race mixer and probably a federal agent. So, like, you know, of course he's going to have a homosexual as his fucking co-host. I mean, the guy looks up to a faggot like Keemstar, you know? They've been watching those fucking H3H3 videos about fucking Keemstar. And this Keemstar guy, I never even fucking heard of him before seeing this shit, but the guy seems like a real faggot. <laughs> so Stone, I Stone I Mexican start. guy says, when is Surfer releasing a cookbook? And look at that. So now we've cut into the lobster and we got her exposed a little bit. So now I'm going to flip the motherfucker. And now I'm going to cut Spaghetti through the other side. Spaghetti Boy says, stuff. remember to brush the tails with melted butter when you actually cook them. No, I was going to use olive oil. What does chat think? Should I melt butter and use it, or would olive oil work? Press 1 for butter. Press 2 for olive yep. oil. We're getting lots of 1s for butter. Yeah, you know, butter's probably better. And there, was, there was a loan too. Yeah, so we got that. Fuzzle says open. it needs to be garlic butter. You know, we could sprinkle a little garlic powder on them. Quadratic Residues points out that olive oil is better for you. Well, you know, that's why I was going to use it. It's better for fucking PPP. It doesn't really matter for me, but we got to feed PPP relatively healthy. You know, or Daddy Jim will go all fucking moral fag on us. Daddy Jim and gonna cry. I can't be. <laughs> I'm enabling him. You're enabling my yeah. obesity, there, surfer. Fuck, Daddy Jim's upset. What an idiot. 
Sick Harrison says no pizza surfer. Trifox says enable his gunt. So I'm just cutting these fucking bases out of this fucking lobster. Now, once again, I'm just gonna cut her along the top. I don't know. Jim's fucked off. Who knows where Jim is, guys? Jim's gonna stay out of all the shit because he realizes the people have like caught on to the bullshit. Like Jim's on the way out, you know, and he realizes that, and I think he's sold out to the fucking feds and the Jews on his way out, because he knows he's on his way out anyways, but he sort of got, like, they're all being exposed right now, and Jim probably feels bad about it, you know, so he's, he's fucked off. People are saying Medicare is now Spoonie. You know. I don't know, I was Spoonie was before my time. I don't really know that much about Spoonie, to be honest. Well, that's a shame, brother. I missed out on the keynote. That was Spoonie. You know. When I was a fucking kid, you know, me and my friends still fucking went outside. No, going outside is <laughs> overrated. My you know best I mean? friend was Big Al 2K6. <laughs> my best friend. So I just, once again, just cutting these fucking lobsters up. You know, I just... Giving them nice little eyes. Oh, sometimes the scissors get fucking caught for some reason in there. Maybe Jim finally found a job. I fucking doubt it. <clears throat> I really doubt it. Knowing Jim's criminal record, he probably can't find employment. What's Jim's criminal record, right? For drinking and driving. How does it stop you from getting a job for drinking and driving? Like, what does that have to do with your performance in the workplace? You I don't just know, gonna bro. fucking show up in the workplace just shittered? Yeah, well, if he doesn't have responsibility enough to control himself from drinking and driving. You know, he's probably going to show up to work drunk. They're saying, no, it doesn't prevent him. That's right. <sighs> okay, so we're just cutting the section out on the bottom. Now, one of the reviews for the fucking recipe said the fucking, some fucking, some Karen type fucking broad cooked with lobster claws under the, I mean lobster tails under the broiler and they fucking, I guess the shells lit on fire. I don't know what the probability that that's going to happen is, but I do sort of worry about that. I don't know, this chat thing, is it possible to light the fucking shells on fire? Is it bro? possible to light the shells on fire, chat? Press 1 if you think the chats can be lit on fire. Press 2 if it's not possible. Flying Terminal says let's find out. Duck Dick says no. There's only one way to find out. That's going to be the fucking series finale of PPP for real. <laughs> You know, they just fucking burn the house down during this edition of Cooking with Surfer. Fucking Jim. Surfer, no! That's what? the J slur. <laughs> the J slur? You know? You need to, instead of using you that can term. call the Jews a million things, you know, and they don't mind. But as soon as you fucking call them a Jew, they fucking recoil. The, prefer the preferred term now is the J's. So the every J's. time that you're to refer to them, you refer to them as the J's. I don't refer to them as the Jays. Well, it's either that or God's chosen and supreme people. <laughs> no. Paclisalt says the Blue Jays. That's a Canada reference. Well, it is. It's pretty close to home, you know? And that's, that's exactly why. Like, if I said the Jays, people could think I'm talking about fucking baseball. And I'm not talking about baseball. I'm talking about... No, you're talking... Fucking slimy you're fight. talking about the Jays. <laughs> the Jays, actually. We want to keep our platform, don't we, sir? Buddy, it's the so Jays. We just lost our platform like three fucking no, times. No, bro, if we just... You know, we're going to have to start we, live streaming from the laptop, walking around, doing one of these, you know? You know, if we fucking self-censor ourselves enough to let us stay, surfer, we just need to not say Doesn't faggot. Matter, buddy. I can say these things just so many times and we don't get shut down it's just as soon as you fucking call out dick masterson for being a faggot you know then you get fucking flat not dax herrera the prom you know? king 
Oh, yeah. It really yeah. shows you who the fucking real Jews are. Give me a hell yeah and shot if I should cut my shoot promo on Dax tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got fucking... Okay, so we're making progress. We got these fucking shells cut open. Fuck, you think I should use butter? Was that the verdict? I'm going to use butter instead of the olive oil. Yeah, it was. The interdimensional lizard says we know who the real blue jays are. You know, I just wanted to cut corners and not use the fucking butter. It's just easier to not, because now i got to use a fucking bowl. You know? I'll take this bowl. Your jaws are so good. Surfer, we're losing viewers due to racism. Surfer, we're gonna lose all the sponsors. All the viewers we lose due to Surfer, we're gonna lose our old English 800 sponsorship. But Surfer, I need free malt liquor. I need free malt liquor, Surfer. Surfer, we believe in racism. No, we don't. We believe in malt liquor. We believe in 40 ounce bottles of malt liquor served ice cold. It's refreshing. The taste. That's kind of like hobo piss. Old English 800. Get excited. You wake up in the morning and it feels like someone's driven a fucking railroad stake in your fucking... That's game. part of the charm. That's part of the charm. Oh, without that, I've without... I've never been that. so hungover in my fucking life. Like, how much butter should I use? How much butter should he use, chat? You know? How many fucking... How many tablespoons of butter? How many tablespoons of butter? Terry says one pound. Trifox says all one of it. Pound. Interdimensional lizard suggests high. one stick of butter. Uh, Solid snack says one or two st- tablespoons. A whole stick of butter. Fuck that. This Japanese guy suggests three sticks. <laughs> three sticks. Interdimensional lizard. You know that sort two. of shit is enabling PPP. You know that's fucking what Jim. That's the good shit. About. Fuck Jim. No, we're going to use this much butter for now. And if we eat more squirrel. butter, we're going to use more. Be a gunt wizard, you know. So, you want to use just as much fucking butter as looks like it makes sense. You know, once this butter melts, I think that's going to be more than enough. That's about maybe two and a half tablespoons, if I had to fucking eye it and guess. You know, so I'm going to melt it, and I'm going to take this motherfucker, and I'm going to brush it on the fucking tails with that this flying terminal says eat a whole stick of butter for jim's praise i don't know buddy jim will jim will disapprove if but if i take on jim's like a, a affects for long enough maybe i'll get his approval my fucking my my irish grandma used to just fucking you start smugly chocolate no, she fucking eat butter by the spoonful you know, she had diabetes and fucking and died, you know, but she'd fucking just eat butter by a fucking spoon. I like, like butter on spoon, crackers. Of butter and fucking, yeah. I don't eat just butter. I don't fucking put it on bread or anything. Butter on you know? crackers is based. Put peanut butter on fucking bread. So, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take to melt this butter. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go with fifty seconds to start. And if it's not melted, we'll put it in for longer. But you can always put it in longer. So because I don't know, I'm gonna try fifty seconds. Gauge it, stir it around. You know, because that helps it melt. And then maybe fucking. <laughs> Get cracked for me. Says malt liquor hangovers are the best. It's the most terrible feeling you'll ever have. Terry Dactyl life. says microwaves are poison. Well, that's why I didn't put the lobster tails in them. No, I don't think microwaves are poison. The fucking Maybe radio the waves, waves, waves man. Might fuck you up, but like cooking with microwaves. I'll show you guys. You know, because Surfer doesn't believe the truth about microwaves, I have to use this <laughs> to protect myself from the fucking microwave waves, you know? Oh, and you know what? That 50 seconds fucking melted the butter nice. Look at that. Look at that. I hardly even have to fucking stir it. I'll stir it up. Make sure it's fucking melted. 
People are like, you still have the hat? I've had that hat for over a year. So I'm going to take the butter. I'm going to take this little fucking spoon. You don't want to touch where the butter's like what is in the pan? It's fucking hot. I mean in the bowl, but it's fucking not so hot up there. So you can grab it there. And you just get the spoon and you just try to ladle the butter out nice and softly. It's the gravy. You're ladling the gravy, surfer. You're just like your hero, Big Bear. Big Bear is pretty fucking based. You don't get much more based than Big Bear. Press one. Except for he sort of, like, he sort of says some crazy shit. Because he's fucking, you know, like, like, I don't know. He sort of sold out for the fucking conspiracy. Press one if Big shit. Bear is based. Press two if you disavow Big Bear. We already have three ones. We like, have when you're monetized one. online, you start to cater what you say to what you, what you think your chat wants. Uh -huh. I think that's what he's doing with a lot of this crazy conspiracy shit. But, like, there was a time... <laughs> Like it's pretty 50-50 between the twos and the ones, sir. It's pretty 50-50 about Owen here. So I, I've ladled out about fucking... going to say about two, two and a half fucking spoonfuls on each of those. But you didn't put I, the garlic in the butter, sir. Oh, fuck. You know, maybe I should have done that. But instead, I decided I was just going to take the garlic... And just sprinkle a wee little bit out. White protagonist asks, does he call himself a bear to signal his homophilia? What, Big Bear? Yeah. No, no, that's not why he called himself a bear. The fucking bear homosexual stole that from Owen, even though they called themselves that probably 30 years previous. They're fucking time travelers, you see. <laughs> Imp says Owen is a mason. It's I don't know about that. You don't think Owen's a mason? No, I don't. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to take some paprika. So, you see, I sprinkled some garlic powder on there. I'm going to go with one motherfucker of paprika on each of them, too. Terry Dactyl says Owen is a blue jay. And then I'm going to take some of this crushed red pepper. And go with one of those motherfuckers on each of them, too. I can't believe Surfer hasn't caught on to the Blue Jay reference. What? Think about oh, it. Oh, fuck, yeah, because they paint the fucking Jews blue in the pictures to identify them. Fuck, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. That's pretty fucking Dr. Crazy. Ape says you don't put paprika on lobster, it'll make it extremely bitter. I don't know about that, buddy. So, there's our, what our lobster. <laughs> it's about as good as any. That's about as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> somebody, somebody in the I, chat is upset that you you've called you know out the Jew, surfer, and I just want you to apologize. I don't because care. our sponsors, care. our sponsors need to keep paying us surfer and you're killing the sponsors you know susan really let me down when she fucking banned your fucking second channel you know surfer you know like i had a lot of good words about susan you know and her being my favorite fucking kike of all of them you know no she's really let me down. what about the apac sponsorship surfer stop it what about the apac sponsorship it's an important sponsorship so no, I think it's only going to take like 10 minutes to cook it's these lobsters. <laughs> they look sort of fucked now, I'm not going to lie. No, there's going to be the Kenny versus Spenny re reboot with me and Godwinson. It's going to be intense <laughs> there. These lobsters look fucked. Like, they don't look very appetizing now that I poured butter and fucking shit on them. They're garbage, sir. <laughs> but they're going to be good once I cook them in the broiler. It's but only going to be gonna two take... more hours. It's going to take a lot longer to cut these than it is to cut them. So I'm going to get these going first. It's going to finish my beer. Get my fucking mind right. All fucked up from this fucking... Can you grab me a beer, bro? Yeah. No, Godwinson has retired, ladies and gentlemen. Godwinson is turning 25 soon. 
and he's marked 25 as his age of retirement, so it'll be over. Godwinson is walking away. He'll never top this arc. He's going to be a real filmmaker now. Yeah, you he's going to be a... Godwinson's going to direct films. He's going to be a big star. You guys will all see him in the movies there. But maybe tomorrow he'll come back. You never know. Like the littlest hobo. Maybe tomorrow he'll just keep moving on. But maybe tomorrow he'll want to settle down. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. So, how much fucking a what do these need? So, these need one cup of water and one cup of milk. Well, Godwinson's going with us to Cuba, though. That's the next arc, is Godwinson and PPP with Surfer and Croc in Cuba. Maybe even my dad will make an appearance as a totally drunk alcoholic maniac who chases us through the resort. Who knows? No, he's not coming. <laughs> he's not coming. He's just a piece of shit. But, you know, yeah. it is what it is. So, now, this bottle of water, a bottle of water is 500 milliliters, which is, like, perfect two cups. But, I like to use a bit more milk than the fucking water. I find that makes for a better sauce with the sidekick, so I just leave a little bit. Just a fucking little bit, and that can be cooked in water later. No, I don't that. hate my dad, guys. He's just a very bad drunk. Very bad drunk. So you don't want to go drinking with oh, him. Oh, the motherfucker stole my whiteboard one time. He stole you know, Surfer's you know, whiteboard. He stole my fucking whiteboard, you know? And put it up in his fucking garage. And I had to forcibly go get it. You were freaking out about it. You're like, no, don't take your whiteboard back. My dad will be so upset that you took your fucking You took the white whiteboard Well, back. you had to steal the whiteboard back, I guess. Yeah, because, you know, my whiteboards are important to me. I like how my whiteboards and the fucking scumbag, the piece of shit scum of the earth stole my fucking whiteboard. I won't forget yeah, People are that. freaking out about Unless the bag of milk. To me. People are They're freaking out. my fucking whiteboard. You know? You know. So, oh, fuck. Now, the problem here, so usually I use the scissors to fucking cut the milk, but we just use the scissors they cut the lobster shells. So, like, the scissors are fucked. They got lobster fucking juice all over them. And I'm not trying to get the lobster juice into the milk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fucking steak knife. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know? You fucking... Sometimes in Canada with the bags of milk, you don't have a pair of scissors handy. So this is a nice little fucking trick. Stone 3PO says, who keeps milk in a bag? You know. You take a fucking steak knife, and you just saw at her like that. And you see it comes off nice and good. Now, Pac LaSalt says the knife would be illegal in the UK. Probably be at least 18 plus. You know, what's his name? Razmaz asks, don't you have a Swiss Army knife surfer? No, I don't, unfortunately. One, two, ass. Won't the milk go bad really quick? I'll drink it really quick. But, you know, it doesn't really... You'd think because it's exposed to the air, it would go bad quicker than it does, but really it doesn't, you know? Yeah. And I'm, I'll probably drink this, like, by midday tomorrow, you know? You can drink a fucking bag of milk pretty fucking quick. Now, the real question with the bag of milk is they fucking, they take, four, they take four liters of milk and put it into three bags. But how much milk is in each bag if they get four perfect liters? <laughs> That's a question to ponder. Do they use a base 12 system so that it works? <laughs> so... I put a surplus of milk in there, you know. And they say what? Water. They're saying 1.333 liters per bag, surfer. 
Yeah, where is the extra infinitesimal? You know, there's an infinitesimal missing. Which bag gets the extra infinitesimal of fucking milk? The simp show says it depends on the resolution of measurement. Spaghetti Boy says, where is the extra infinitesimal chat? <laughs> where did it go? You know, which of the three bags? You know, it's like the three door problem. Which of the three bags of milk do they give the infinitesimal to? You know, and if, like, they have them all going on an assembly line, how do they know that the three bags of milk that they put into your fucking shock of milk it's, has, one of them has It's that every third bag, bro. They say yeah. that's how they get you in chat. That is how they get you. They fucking chew you on your infinitesimal milk. <laughs> so you get, you get the fucking mix and you just you pour it in here. Now here's a trick. Because I fill it right to the brim, if I held it up, it would be a disaster. It might spill over here. So I just start pouring it right from fucking inside. People are asking there. how high Surfer is. How do you even smoke weed? I quit smoking weed a while ago. Yeah. Press press one if you believe Surfer that he doesn't smoke weed. Press two if you think Surfer smokes weed. People yeah. are pressing one, they believe you, Surfer. Oh, the people are pressing two. Well, I quit smoking weed for like a year and a half. And then fucking, when Adam came here, I smoked weed for like a fucking month and got real hooked up again. <laughs> You know, I had to quit like three times in a row because I kept fucking smoking weed again like a week later after I quit. You know, but I, 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 how long has it been since I fucking... Oh, probably two, three months now at least. Yeah, I tried to smoke weed for two, three months since then. So I, Morning, afternoon, headshot says, I believe you, but you sound like you smoke a lot of weed. Yeah, they told me that. But I fucking... You want to rinse your hands pretty constantly, especially when you're working with this fucking slimy meat. And I don't actually need this. I thought I was going to need this to rub the olive oil on the lobsters, but it turned out that wasn't the fucking case at all. So I'm going to put this thing back quick. And then fucking, I'm going to turn this on to hot. So you want to watch this, because once it gets fucking boiling, because it has so much milk, it's really going to bubble up. And if you're not watching it, you don't get it on fucking time, it can boil over. So, we're going to open both of these up. And the reason for that is so they're ready. Because if I'm not watching it, and fucking it starts bubbling up, and then I go to, I'm fumbling to fucking open this while it's boiling over, it's just, it's a lot easier to fucking have them open and ready to go so you can just get them fucking quick, you know? You always want to plan ahead, you know, and be prepared. Yeah, people are saying, you know, you're getting Ralph's YouTube ratings just cooking, you know. <laughs> oh, that one's your video. Right? Only 30 more viewers to defeat Chillstream on Cut's Peak there. Only 30 more viewers. Mind you, we're in a time slot that's way later as well, you know. It's pretty sad. It's pretty sad, the Chillstream. The Killstream is such a bad fucking show. You know, like, there's no self-awareness, you know? Everything the guy says is a fucking fake and a lie. You know, like, they're talking about Ethan Klein being a fucking, like, being fake. And what he's saying is a lie. But, like, everything fucking Ralph does is fake and fucking a lie. You know? Yeah, apparently today they covered Lana Del Rey. I don't even know who that is. I do. She made that Summertime Sadness song. The Summertime like Sadness. 2010 or some shit. You know, I can't right? even remember how Summertime Sadness sounds. Fuck. Good. I got that Summertime, Summertime Sadness. You know that one? They play it all I, the I know they blood. did play it. I've heard it, but like, fuck, yeah. I can't even remember it. But I think that's the only song she ever made. I don't think the fucking she's done anything since that, you know. People are tuning out. They're upset, Surfer. They say that you, Dr. Know. Ape says you have the voice of a generation. Well, you know, I fucking... Sometimes I think 
sometimes I think that my thoughts fucking control what happens in the world around me. Because as I change my thoughts, the fucking world tends to fucking change with it. But, like, I don't think that's actually real. You know? Spaghetti. I think it's all fucking predictive programming. Let's change my thoughts. You know? I don't know. I can't put my... Spaghetti on. Boy says Surfer Teaches Math Videos would be Kino. You know, I thought about it. I thought about it. I got fucking... You see, I got the th I got thirteen fucking bucks of the uh, I got Euclid's Elements. I got all thirteen bucks, and I got the work of Archimedes, which is fucking all pure math, right? Like I also have like the Principia by Isaac Newton and shit like that. I think that's where he fucking brought out his ideas of calculus, right? But I've considered going through the like doing a series where I go through the thirteen bucks of the fucking elements for Euclid. You know, and learn math for fucking chat. Some I like math a lot, you know, I really like math. Math that fucking fires me People up. really want the show, sir. The works of Archimedes would be a good one. People are know, saying it's, it's really based. Spirals and whatnot. No, I would be really into that. Like, I genuinely really get fired up for math. I fucking love math. You should do it on your drunken surfer channel, bro. Yeah, I might. Just no, you should. So, so the milk doesn't curdle to the bottom too much. You want to give this a stir every couple minutes. And you want to scrape the fucking thing across all the area of the fucking bottom. I sort of go lengthwise and then widthwise, if you can call it that, in the fucking circle. So you got cooking with surfer and you got math with surfer? The people are saying it should be mathing with surfer. I don't know. I don't know if I call it mathing. You know, that sounds pretty fucking cringe. It's like when people say adulting. You know, you say mathing. One two says you I got. Don't like that. You guys spend way too much money on books. Get an ebook reader and download them for free. That's fucking retarded. One two is just a piece of crap Australian. They don't no, even know like how to read. Really, you put all your fucking books on the fucking online. They can change them at any time. You know, like they can go into the fucking file and edit it. You know, they can revise what these fucking the information is in real time. So that's why it's fucking retarded. You want to have physical copies of all your fucking. Books. People are saying they want anti-Semitic with Surfer. No, I'd only, I'd only do that show if fucking it was me and Rand bought. I think that'd be sort of jokes, you know? Anti-Semitic with think, Rand bought and Surfer. I think Rand bought, like, I, I don't think he actually believes any of the thing I, he says. I think he just tries to be fucking edgy and shit post as a fucking... Well, Australian. you remember, Rand said that we're Jews. Because you won't say the case slur. You know, I don't think Rand actually fucking believes what he says, you know. I think he's pretty fake and gay, but it's still sort of jokes listening to him go. Bibble, you're a nigger, Bibble. <laughs> now, sir, remember what we said about the end slur? Remember, so, black right people by Jordan. when the fucking milk in the water hits the rim, that's when you want to put your fucking shit into it. And you have it nice and prepared so you can fucking hit it right at that moment. Great at that and then you can take one of these wrappers and it can be your fucking dish so you don't get your stove fucking dirty. You put your fucking spoon down on the dish. But sir, for I'm feeling somewhat trepidatious about letting it boil up to the top. Somewhat, somewhat trepidatious. So you, you, you want to just fucking get it all out of there, you know. They're, people are saying they're gonna report the stream to our sponsors. Surfer, we're gonna we're gonna fucking be homeless. You wanna turn it down in between medium and six, buddy? I don't care about sponsors. You know, like the money and the fame are all gay. And but even guys that guys, are fucking just check it out. Bait. This is Steam Whistle, Canada's premium pilsner. It's the good beer, folks. 
It's brewed in the Roundhouse in Toronto, and you should purchase a 2 4 for only $55.95. Oh, before you change the subject again, even guys that are fucking based, like Owen Benjamin, once they get too accustomed to the fucking revenue stream, they start to fucking and make their content based off of what their audience wants. Uh, it's not as real as it was before when Owen was fucking going off about the Jews, you know? It's just, it loses that realness once you start to fucking cater your content to your audience. Like, you know, it's like the fucking preachers in the fucking churches that because they're scared of losing their fucking tithing, they change the message of God to what their fucking congregation wants to hear. You know, it's just a fucking utter Jew scam. You know, it's utter fucking nonsense. You need to, as a preacher, not give a fuck about that. You need to preach the word of God and stay true to the word of God. And you know what? God feeds the sparrows, so God will take care of you. Don't fucking fear losing fucking one member of your congregation if you're scared of losing the tithing because money's your fucking God, you know? Donnie Darko's trying to say that Pastor Anderson is the best. Pastor Anderson teaches faith only, and he's a piece of garbage. If you believe faith only, you're going to hell, I'm sorry. You know, but Pastor Anderson does make some pretty base videos. Like, Pastor Anderson's video where he debunks the Holocaust is the fucking the most on-point fucking debunking the Holocaust video I have ever seen. You know, like, <laughs> just the optics of it, you know, like, he's sitting behind the desk with, like, the fucking, like, encyclopedias and, like, the old, like, mandolin fucking oh, guitar man. thing on the wall, and it's like he's fucking super somebody, tortured, you know? Somebody is... Pretty a, on point. Yeah. But he is fucking a faith-only charlatan. And, you know, people that preach faith-only and do have a brain, like Pastor Anderson, are charlatans. They know exactly what they're doing. Somebody's asked you what faith-only is. It's believing that you're saved by faith alone. But James 2 alone says that faith without works is dead. That's the only verse you need. But I mean, Mark 16, 16, that says, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Acts 2, 38, what the men and brethren, what shall we do to be saved? Arise and be baptized, every one of you, to wash away your sins. So, I mean, the reality of it is, is that faith only is a total scam. It takes about 30 seconds to debunk. And I know people will be upset about that, and I'll probably have to do a sermon about that. But my John 3, 16 says Fidel Clash Flow. Well, remember... But remember, a verse out of context is just mere pretext. It's just one verse. We have to take the whole entirety of the Bible. One verse alone is not the entirety of the Bible. I don't want to have to actually live like the Bible tells me to live. I just want to be saved because I believe that Jesus existed. You know, like, it's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> the mindset of these fucking people. You know, like... You need to fucking run the race and practice what it fucking says in the Bible. Even the fucking well, devil and the you can show your believe. you can show your faith by works, but can you show you know can you show your your faith without works? Can you show works without faith? No, you can't. You know, because you have a faith, that's what inspires your works. And if you don't fucking do those works, you obviously don't even have a faith. Because if you truly had a faith, you would fucking practice what it tells you to practice in the Bible. If no. you truly had a no. faith and you're, you're, you're zealous about it, well, you would study the Bible. And you would understand what it says. And then you would put that into fucking practice. And that's just the reality. Somebody says, doesn't the Bible literally say as long as you believed you're saved? No! It doesn't. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. You know, like, just go open up your Bible and read it. You know, that's all you need to do. Just go read it. Just go study please, it. Please just read it. I, I, it's time. This channel is just going to be next week. Only sermons. Only sermons on YouTube now. Well, you if know, you want like, anything else, you better go to Bit Shoot there. When I made the, my two channels, the Drunken Surfer and King Finkelstein, you know, a drunken surfer was going to be for this sort of shit, and King Finkelstein was going to be for Bible studies. And, you know, maybe we should hop on the King Finkelstein fucking channel and just do Bible studies. We'll go through every fucking chapter in the whole Bible. Well, we'll see. You know?
No, I'd be pretty fucking based. You know? We could, like, you know, we could get, like, chats and put, you know, it's sort of like how we do Bible study, you know, where we all fucking read it. We could put up on the screen. We could figure you out know, what we'll be at. This guy, G.G. Allen goes, the Bible is a boring read. It seems to repeat the same things over and over. As though the truth changes. The truth doesn't change, bro. No, it's saying the same things. Oh, it's it's no, it's no, what's true it doesn't change. Well, like, it's literally not. Like, there's so much excitement throughout the fucking Bible, you know. Like that's just a retard take to get. No, it that's is. Just a retard take to keep people from reading it. Oh, it's gonna be really boring, so I, I'm not gonna bother reading it. You know, like it's just a Jew scam to say shit like that. But what we could do, we could put up the fucking chapter on screen, you know, with OBS somehow. By the power of OBS. And then we can discuss it one chapter at a time and go through the whole fucking Bible. King James Version, not any fucking gay Jew version, like the fucking English Standard Version. No, the only good version is the new King James. No, buddy. Yes. It's the original fucking King James. No, it's the new King James. The new King James is the superior translation because it doesn't use words like Easter. Well, because it it translates the Passover incorrectly as Easter in the in the in the King James version. Where? I haven't seen, I haven't seen the word Easter once. Well, here. yeah, because you haven't gone to the New Testament, bro. Yeah. It's before Jesus dies. Like it refers to the Passover as Easter. But there's just there's a few different instances where the King James version it's We're still fine. Yeah, stuff like the unicorn and, you know, but there's a few instances where the New King James is a bit better. And the reason I prefer the New King James is because it's in modern English. So it's easier for people to understand. They, somebody says they need to make a modern internet slang translation. Well, there is. There well, is, like... What people need to do is learn fucking biblical history. You know? You see, I got this textbook so I could... Just for Randbot, so I can stay true to my Jewish roots and learn Biblical Hebrew. They use this shit in fucking Yale. This is a Yale textbook. You learn Biblical Hebrew in two fucking semesters. So maybe we'll do that too. We'll do math with Surfer, and then we'll do Hebrew, he Hebrew with, with Surfer. surfer. Are <laughs> we going to do the Talmud with Surfer? Yeah, maybe we will. Maybe we will get a copy, a full copy. Of no, we won't do that. That's not but no, there is value in learning Biblical Hebrew, and I don't know it, but you know what? We could sit down together, chat, and we could learn Hebrew together. <laughs> no, and you want to learn, the, is it the people Conine want, Greek? The Conine Greek, yeah. People want a lifting channel, Surfer. Yeah, we could do lifting videos too. But it's so time gonna, for lifting with Surfer. No, lifting is good. Everyone Why don't you just it. start recording every moment of your life, Surfer? Start doing the sleep. Yeah, so just record every moment of your life and just start asking for super chats. You know, I sleep really fucking well. I get a body, I have two body pillows. And I put one on either side of me. And then I have four pillows. On top of that, I have two or three under my head. And then one or two on either side of me. And then two body pillows, you know. And it's really nice, you know. I could show up, and I got a tempur mattress. It's fucking unreal, you know. They're saying you need to stream your trip to the grocery store. I might. I was taking a video in the grocery store, and this fucking liberal cunt boss, they tried to fucking give me shit. You know, tell me, sir, you need to walk down the aisle the right way. And I was like, fuck you, bitch. Where do you get off talking to me like this? <laughs> you know, like... Fuck. People are demanding that you upload these videos, sir. Do it. To bitch you. They want to see the fucking surfer at the grocery store. Yeah. But, you know, I am going to learn Hebrew. And I am going to learn enough Kauai and Greek as well that I can read original, trans original fucking manuscripts of the Bible. Because I think that's important. Like, we can argue over what translation's the best all day long, but reading the original text is really the fucking best translation. It's not a translation, it's the original fucking text. 
So that's why I picked this up, the biblical Hebrew textbook. And maybe we will go through it. Uh, Gigi Allen asks, how much French does Surfer know? Well, go learning Hebrew with Surfer. <laughs> learning Hebrew with Surfer. Oh, fuck. That'd be good. You know, Rand Ball will really be calling me a Jew once I get learning no. Hebrew with Surfer. Truth going. Seeker asks, who is superior, Confucius or Marcus Aurelius Surfer? Marcus Aurelius. There you go. It's Marcus Aurelius. The meditations wins. Well, we got meditations. It's the only book we have. Well, actually, I got a fucking other book about Marcus Aurelius, too. So, these are fucking really making progress. I really should be paying more attention instead of fucking ranting about Hebrew and fucking shit. People like are that. saying that Nick Ricada is streaming, though, Surfer. I don't know how Nick Ricada gets 2,000 people watching his streams. Because they're literally the boringest thing. Like, it's like listening to Teddy Spaghetti. You know, like, it really is. Like, I'm actually more entertained listening to Teddy Spaghetti than I am listening to Nick Ricada. Like, Nick Ricada literally has the most boring show on the fucking internet. But all these fucking retards watch it. I don't get it. It blows my fucking mind, to be honest. Yeah, Nick isn't <laughs> respecting the time slot that we've established. Ricada is a piece of shit. Ricada needs to respect the time slot. He needs to respect the cooking with Surfer time slot and wait until we are finished before streaming. Thank you. So, we're gonna put, are you our, winning, we're son? Gonna put our fucking stove on to fucking broil high. We're going to broil these motherfuckers on high. And we'll see tonight if the fucking lobster well, shells light Gator on Gator says he's a winning broiler. lawyer. Gator says he's winning. Has he ever won a case? No, he's actually never won any case. Nor has any of the legal predictions he's ever made ever been true. Not oh, one. I didn't lose. Have you ever heard of an appeal? You know, he's not the guy's lawyer anymore. Like, what happened was he lost. <laughs> you know, so Buddy got a different lawyer to appeal it. <laughs> well, it's the appeal. The appeal, bro. He's, he doesn't. He's not even a lawyer anymore. He just does YouTube streams because he says that YouTube is more lucrative than being a lawyer. It's because he's a shitty it's, lawyer. It's probably legitimately like a money laundering thing, you know? Like the new project too. Like all of his super chats, you know? Like I've seen evidence that Nickerkate's super chats are actually coming from bots. They might be laundering money through super chats and fucking through the new project too. And that's probably why they fucking flag down everything that criticizes them on it. You know, that's just a theory. Like, I can't prove that. But, like, there's something going on there. Why they need to shut it down every time you bring this shit up and deflect, you know? Like, and people are like, well, it's all the Nick Ricada fanboys that keep your Kiwi thread farms thread alive. Look, the, the thread is jokes. It's absolutely hilarious at this point. It's just so funny. Ralph shows up to Spurg in my thread, says that I'm perspicacity. Even Jush today, Janny Jush couldn't clean that one up. Had to admit I wasn't perspicacity. You know, even Janny Jush had to fucking admit that today. So, I mean, they can continue to Spurg and cry. I mean, the reality is they've got fucking nothing. You know, like shit. Oh my God, we're going to get you. Oh, oh, you know. But what's so funny is Dick right now just spurging about Kiwi Farms. Dick Masterson just spiraling out of fucking control. You know, just calling them Karen Farms. I actually used to enjoy the Dick show, you know. But the guy has just revealed himself as such a fake and gay fucking Mexican Jew. I can no longer enjoy his show. Yeah. No, a wise man said never interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake. But honestly, no matter what I say, he's going to still keep spurging about Karen Farms because he's just a dipshit and he's a fucking retard. You see, we got these nice and evenly spaced and everything. The butter's hardened, as you can see. It says to put them six inches below. We'll see how it goes for Dick there, you know. Like, I don't think it's going very well. I don't think he's winning. Um, the future Simspiracy files will probably be on BitChute with a trailer on YouTube linking them, but I'm sure they they'll be mirrored. Those. Make sure they don't light on fire. If they light on fire, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm not going to lie. Well, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to just stream it until we die. We're going to just keep the, the 
show must go on. The show must go on. The show must go on. Oh, fuck, buddy. You know, they can't, they can't fucking just burn down the apartment and die here today because we still need to do Learning Hebrew with Surfer. Learning Hebrew with Surfer. Learning Hebrew with Surfer than I have to do Math with Surfer. No, Math with Surfer is going to be awesome, buddy. That's no, what everybody no, needs. Learning Hebrew with Surfer, buddy. <laughs> yeah, 1225. It's 1215. They've probably been in there for about a minute. At 1225, we're going to take those fucking monster tails out of there. Somebody asked, why not do learning occult mysticism with Surfer? Oh, that'd be pretty cool, too. You know? Get out They're the really Aleister Crowley. Occult, right? That's why I have a whole shelf of books about the fucking Masons and whatnot, right? Oh, I guess them because fucking... My dad fucking married a Mason. Pawn's Cremator says, well, no, how about becoming... a Mason, but he married a girl that her whole fucking... Now, guys, remember, I'm actually typing in chat right now because Perspicacity is in the chat. He says this is actually making me hungry, so I gotta make sure I'm making typing noises. See, I'm perspicacity in the chat there, guys. <laughs> Look at me go. I'm perspicacity. That's actually Godwin's, and I'm sorry, that's right, I forgot. So, you wanna take about two tablespoons of butter when these motherfuckers look like that, you know, they're just about done. We're just going to drop that in the fucking top. And here's the trick. Because you want to mix the butter in, but it's got to melt in. So here's the trick. Here, stand up and show them this. See, you're going to mix it around. But you want to fucking... You see, if you bring everything, you bring it on top of the butter. And you bury the butter in the fucking noodles. And then it melts it from every fucking angle. And it'll melt it a lot quicker. Leave it under there for a fucking minute and it'll be melted. Gigi Allen asks, will Surfer microwave a spoon for us, please? No. He you know, I went to school for physics, you know. Like, I got the physics award in high school. Like, not only that, I got the calculus award. I got most likely to be hired by Donald Trump, which I can show you. Here, let's show them. Let's fucking show them. Look, look at this. Here, actually, I need a light. I need a light. Hold on. Look at it. Most likely to be hired by Donald Trump, R.J. Finley. There you go. You know, I won that award. I won the fucking... I won the calculus award. I won the fucking physics award. And I think I won another one for having the top mark in the whole fucking school. You know, in the whole fucking year. But they're you know? asking, were you the prom king, surfer? No. But you know what? I was the only motherfucker at the prom wearing a white suit. I might not have been prom king, but I fucking wore a white suit, you know? Only motherfucker wearing a white suit. Everyone else wore a gay fucking black suit. Like a normie faggot. You know, but I wore a white suit. And my girlfriend wore this, like, gold dress. It had, like, all these fucking, like, gold sparkles on it. So there was just light shining you, in every Did direction. you see, though, how on the cowboard surfer Brittany Venti's posting about you? Is she? Yeah, she's saying, like, she's horny for you. Oh, I bet. I fucking bet. Are you going to plow Venti? No, I'm not. But why not, surfer? Oh, she's probably older than fucking 20. And she's probably taken fucking a lot of fucking cocks, you know. I I won't fucking marry a girl that's not a virgin, you know. But Brittany Venti is a QT virgin, pal. No, she's not. I can guarantee she's not. Like, no e-girl is fucking... Every e-girl is a slut, you know. Like, not my pure waifu Brittany. <laughs> the one true thing that fucking Fuentes has ever said was never e-girl. Not one time. If he's ever said anything wise... It's never e-girls, not one time. But you know what, Fuentes is a federal agent and he's fucking gone back on that, you know? He's fucking simps to fucking e-girls. 
because he's a you can see it like remember when he did that interview with Brittany Venti and they're on the same show and he's just so nervous to be around yeah her, he's just know? like a big virgin faggot but... oh no the lobster has caught fire it hasn't caught fire but the lobster it sure it it's doesn't. caught fire but I don't know like Brittany Venti I fucked a girl in high school. I fucked a girl in high school. The only girl that wasn't like that, that wasn't completely white that I ever fucked was like half white, half fucking Native American. You know, like she looked exactly like Brittany she was Benty. Métis. No, and she has the same mannerisms. Like Brittany Venti really reminds me of this girl. They speak the same way. They have the same fucking mannerisms. I dated this girl like four fucking times from like grade eight to the end of fucking high school. You know, and when I fucked her though, I wasn't dating her. You know, it's just sort of strange. My cross. Like, Brittany Venti really reminds me of her. I don't think Brittany Venti's like very attractive, but like she's attractive. You know, she is fucking. She is a good looking girl, but she's not like super. Fucking but her cat body. shit in her bed, and she slept in it. That's alright. I fucking love cats enough. Like, I really like cats. Surfer fucking loves cats. He you loves know, like, every kind of cat. No, at one point, I'll probably have ten cats. You know, there'll probably be a point in my life when I'm like 40, 50, and I'll have like five, ten cats. Because I fucking do love cats. So, you know what? Like, well, I could get past that. But I, I fucking would never go for Britain. Helen, Helen Keller asks. E well, who's your top? Never e girls, not one. Fucking but Helen time. Keller asks, who's They're your top fun. waifu then, surfer? Oh, Murdoch Chan, of course. You know, Murdoch like, Chan's your top waifu there. Yeah, it's not I'm Faith not. Goldie anymore, surfer. Oh, Faith Goldie is a good-looking woman. No, I couldn't tell you who my top waifu is. You know, like there's no e girl that would be my top fucking waifu. You know. You know, like, my top, my top waifu will be some fucking, like, 18-year-old fucking trad broad well, that I fucking Pac buy. Well, Salt says... You know, and will live in my fucking house, you know, and... People are saying Murdoch Chan's truck. a whale. I, I know, obviously, fucking Murdoch Chan isn't the top waifu because she's a cartoon character, you know, like... Obviously, that's not serious, you know? We got three minutes. T.G. Allen says Faith looks good for her age. Do you even know how old she is? Hey, no, Faith Goldie is a good looking woman. You Faith know, looks like, like she's 50 years people old. People tell me I'm, like, I'm fucked for that, but like I genuinely think Faith Goldie is a good looking woman. Faith is only 30 years old. You know. Like when I say Faith's leathery forehead, like I, I say that jokingly. I get where that comes from, but like, <laughs> like I do actually think Faith Goldie is a good looking one. Yeah, she's 30 years old. Faith Goldie has the biggest lips I've ever seen on a non black woman. And her she voice. Definitely has old or I'm just not a big fan of Faith's voice. Well, you shouldn't ever need to hear a woman's voice speaking about fucking politics or anything. Just unfortunately, we live in Canada, so every fucking person you're going to fucking listen to is going to be a fucking woman. Because no men in Canada have any fucking balls. No, <laughs> you know, surfer, no. That's not true. No, that is the reality. Surfer, no. Surfer, no. Oh, fuck. The lobsters are fucking on fire. They're burning. Fuck shit. No, I'm turning the fucking stove off, though, because they're just about cooked. Like, those fucking shells look fried. They're going to light on fire. Whoa, it's going to light on fire. Dr. Ape says disaster incoming. Called it. Well, it's our first rodeo, buddy. So, like, you got to give me a bit of leeway on these lobster tails. I've never cooked them in my life. I just got them instead of full lobsters. Because last time I got full lobsters, we had to break the shells open. So I'm literally, I have this can opener and I'm breaking them open with this. I have this lobster on my plate and I'm fucking hammering it with the fucking can opener to cr like crack it up. And then I go in with the scissors to separate it. You know, it was a fucking battle. It was like the beginning of 2001 A Space Odyssey with the fucking bone pounding into the ground. 
Surfer Discovered Tool. Yeah. You know, at least Surfer discovered the tools. PPP didn't even figure out the tools. He so P -P Surfer to do it PPP for just had Surfer do it for him, like a hero. <laughs> yeah, buddy, yeah. The Chad Varg apparently is superior to the obese PPP. Fuck Varg, you know. I'm gonna leave them in there for the full fucking until 25. But I'm not fucking, I turned the heat off because I don't want them to light on fire to the fucking high heat of the boiler. People are spamming Varg as a fed. Do you think Varg is. Varg some pre based videos, but some of the shit he fucking says sometimes, like, it's sort of cringe. Like, especially when he's talking about the fucking pig, weird pagan shit. Vargan. Like, Vargan, Varg's got like eight kids, you know, it's pretty based. He lives off the land, that's pretty based. But like, I almost think like Varg's lived off the reserve so long that he sort of fucking, he sort of lost it, <laughs> you know? Var Varg just has a serious victim complex when it comes to Christians. You know, the pagans are like, might makes right. We are powerful. We will crush everybody. And then they just suddenly start to cry when it comes to the Christians destroying their ma culture and ma values and ma traditions. They just, the Christians screwed us. The Christians, yeah, the Christians suppressed us poor pagans. But might makes right. Yeah, I don't. But, like, Varg's got, Varg is pretty based in a lot of aspects. And you know what? When they banned Varg and they banned fucking Brother Nathaniel, YouTube fucking went really downhill. Like, that was a big fucking hit, you know? Like, Brother Nathaniel more so than fucking Varg. I haven't watched Brother Nathaniel in fucking months. You know, in probably six months have I seen a Brother Nathaniel video. And I fucking miss that guy, you know. I wish I knew where to find Brother Nathaniel's videos. That guy is so fucking based. You know? Do you know that Varg has said autism is normal? And the people without autism are abnormal? Well, maybe the people without autism are NPCs, you know. Maybe only autistics think with their fucking head. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Somebody goes, Brother Nathaniel got banned, question mark? Like, long, at the same time, Barb got banned. How long ago was that? No, it was a while ago. Like, there's still, like, I'm subscribed to a Brother Nathaniel archive that hasn't fucking uploaded anything new since. You know, but, yeah, I don't... And Brother Nathaniel was a Jew. That goes to prove that it's the Chinese who are behind it all. It's the Chai Coms and the Muslim surfer. You're wrong. The Jews aren't the only fucking evil player in the fucking game. You know, they're not the only ones. You know, to blame everything on the Jews. It's the Chai Com Saudi Masons. It's sort of surface level thinking, you know. It's the Saudis and the Masons. Oh, and the, the Chai Coms. They're fucking heavily involved. But the Masons are just a bunch of Shabbos boy faggots. You know, like the Jews are above the Masons. Masons are just a bunch of Shabbos going faggots. And if you don't believe that, all you need to do is go look up B'nai B'rith. Go read about B'nai B'rith. You know, that's that's where the ADL fucking came from. I don't know if that's you the know? truth, Surfer. I heard that it was the Saudis who bankroll it all. And that the Jews are victims. And do you understand that the Jews... Well, the fucking Masons, you know, a bunch the... of Shabbos going faggots. Bunch of fucking secular humanist pieces of fucking shit. No, the, you know, the Masons believe in God. God. You know, I looked at fucking my stepmom's fucking father in the eyes. This guy is a perfect master in the Scottish, right? Showed me his card. That same day, I looked at him in the fucking eyes and said, I'll fucking end the Masons. That's the last time I ever fucking saw the guy. Alpharius. My brother's a Shriner. He's 33rd degree. Alpharius says, sorry you were ejected by the Lodge Surfer. 
I never applied to the lodge. I've met many, many Masons in my day. I fucking used to knock doors, and I've met many Masons. And I've picked their fucking brains about it, but I have never gone to join a fucking lodge, and I never will. You know, the lodge would beg to have someone like me. You know, the lodge doesn't have, like, they're fucking, you talk to anyone in the fucking lodges, and they talk about how they're all fucking 70 years old. And they need, they're, they're trying so hard to recruit right now, because they don't have any fucking young people in the fucking Masons, you know? Some people in the chat... The Masons would fucking suck my cock to have fucking someone like me. And you know, like, that's probably what they do in a lot of their fucking rituals. They suck each other's cocks, you know, because they're a bunch of fags. Dagos says, what if they offered you bags of gold and silver? <laughs> I'm not going to sell out to the Masons for any amount of gold or silver. Fuck the Masons. What if it was, like, a hundred pieces of silver? What, they're going to give me a hundred pieces of silver? You know, they, they could give me a trillion pieces of fucking silver. And I'm going to live... Fucking sit. I'm gonna live fucking 50 years as a fucking mason and then burn in hell for eternity. You know, I'll live a good 50 years no. on this earthly realm with my fucking trillion pieces of silver and then I'll die and burn in hell for don't fucking you eternity. Don't you know? Saint. Being some Shabbos no. school fucking mason. Don't you know? you know that St. Peter accepts silver at the gates now? <laughs> If you just have enough silver and you give it oh, to. Oh, fuck, buddy. Oh, buddy, it's fucking 31. I've left those in there way too long. An extra, like, six minutes. Well, they're definitely done. <laughs> you know, we left the lobster in there six minutes too long. You know, every time I hear the word six minutes, it reminds me of that Eminem song. You know, where he says, six minutes, he goes, six minutes, Slim Shady, you're on. You know, he goes, my baby mom's made me an angry blob. You know? What's that song called? I don't know. I'm not uh, a... It's Remember Me. It's Remember Me. It's his verse, Remember Me. He goes, So I promised these fucking critics I wouldn't say fucking for six minutes. A surfer, it's been... Six it's minutes. It's been in seven minutes around. now. Every time I hear six minutes, that's what I think. Yeah, so like I could... Surfer burned the shit that's out of them. Right, because we had them shell up. Look at this guy! Look how curled it is from the heat. Rasmus says, don't burn your hands, surfer. Is it done, surfer? Oh! <laughs> surfer burnt his hand. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to rinse my fucking hands. I'm going to let those cool down for a minute. Terry right. says you were supposed to pull the lobster meat out first. I forgot about the corn. You know, you guys get me ranting about the masons. I fucking hate the masons. I really do, you know. You know, like... They're saying you should join the masons and you'd be a good mason, buddy. No, buddy. I would never join them. I've considered it. I remember fucking Darren Pritchett in fucking Columbia. When Surfer went to Columbia, I fucking, like, this guy, he drives like a Bentley Continental, you know. He's fucking made, this guy made like $40 million in just energy, you know, as the executive vice president. He worked his way up. And he taught me the fucking, like, different, Mason, he taught me a Masonic handshake in the fucking, when I was in Columbia, you know. And I remember calling you. I called you. That fucking thing. Yeah, you were so you. wasted. Yeah, I was shittered. I was fucked. I didn't know tell you, you know. And I was telling you, I was considering being a fucking mason, you know. That was just drunk me talking. I'd never be a fucking mason. What just come back? You know. I know a lot more now than I did, than I did then. There's a head mason 1488 says, Surfer, join us. Well, you know these shit full of things. It's Ted Mason, 1488. Well, you know, the Masons stand for preserving the white race. That's what they believe in. When did you see a black Mason? What are they called? The Prince Hall Masons? No, those aren't... Like exclusively black lodge. That's not true. Well, it is true. That's not true. <laughs> no. There's no such thing as black Masons. 
Well, that is true. The Masons are a white exclusive organization. Like maybe back in the fucking 1800s, but not nowadays. But this is what Daddy Jim told me. Daddy Jim told me when he was, you know, a, a, a grand master, he told me that if I joined the Masons, there <laughs> wouldn't be any black most people. Worshipful master of the lodge, you know? Daddy Jim, no. No, Daddy Jim, no. So I'm going to take this fucking corn. And you want to get the lid out. And you want to just pour your corn with the liquid into the fucking... Now, Surfer, are you aware that Shaq has his own fighting game? Shaq? Yeah, Shaquille O'Neal. No, 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 no. I imagine that's like Def Jam. You know what no. Def Jam means? Or no. It's all the rappers it, and their fighters. You like yeah. fighters, you dog. <laughs> it's called Shaq Fu, buddy. You never heard of Shaq Fu? But you know, like, I don't know, I, like, in my mind, the best video game that was ever created was fucking but Crash they're Bandicoot asking, 1 to 3, and Crash Team Racing, and Crash Bash. They're and asking... Spyro you know, the Dragon, and beyond that, video games lost their value. Other than Final Fantasy, the original one. The original Final Fantasy is such a good game. Final Fantasy 2 is a pretty fucking good game, too. You know, the first two Final Fantasy games are really fucking good. If 3 is, I think, 3D. I didn't like it as much, but 4 was a really good game, too. And beyond that, they sort of got gay, but, like, the first couple Final Fantasy games are fucking unreal. You know? But Surfer doesn't play video games anymore, because I'm not a no. fucking child. No, they, you know, when you turn, like, 18, 19, 20 years old, you shouldn't really be playing video games anymore, you know? <laughs> like, you need to grow up and be a man and read some books and fucking live, you know, and do something with your life. People are saying that you have a terrible take. Well, that's because they're addicted to fucking video games and porn, you know? You need to be like Surfer and just not only never watch porn, but like never beat off, you know? You, 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 like, you'll all get prostate cancer. Well, no, you won't because you'll dream about sex and you'll fucking come in your sleep. Cameron you know? Clark your asks. Your body naturally regulates itself. You should have enough self-discipline to never fucking beat off. Cameron Clark, Clark says, how does Surfer keep getting more and more based? Spaghetti ass, doesn't Surfer play the new Assassin's Creed? Oh, well, yeah, when I was smoking weed, you know, because I was smoking weed for a couple months, I fell into degeneracy a little bit and I started playing video games again, but I've repented of that behavior, you know. It only was like a fucking month or so I fell into degeneracy. And no one's perfect, I mean, that happens to the best of us, you know. But it's important to acknowledge that no. once it happens, Bowser, you admit your mistakes. Bowser retracted his message, and he's a coward, so he's getting banned. He's a coward, he's been banned. So the corn, you want to put the corn in the microwave for a minute and ten seconds. And then you take the fucking, you stir it up. Stir it up with this fucking pork. I can't believe he retracted his message. message. Can you imagine putting something in chat and then retracting it? That's pretty fucking gay. Not Welcome to Ban World, but Population you know U, Kyle. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. The other fucking day, and this is my Jew brain taking over. I fucking told you as soon as I woke up. But the other fucking night, like, like because I don't beat off, sometimes I wake up. We're fucking jizzing all over the place because I'm dreaming about sex, right? And because I've had sex before, like, in my dreams, like, it's fucking like real sex, you know? But the other night, I'm fucking, my Jew brain kicks in, you know? I'm like 1764 is Jewish. My fucking Jew brain kicks in. And I'm fucking, in my dream, I'm like in like some fucking, like, some market, and I'm looking at coins. I'm looking at like fucking like gold and silver coins and like fucking military fucking badges, you know. I'm looking at this gold and silver and I woke up just fucking jizzing all over the place. 
know. <laughs> so you... What? No, legitimately, legitimately. I'm dreaming about these gold and silver coins, and I just woke up just fucking... You know, you know, Sargoy is you know, the Janny again. Me one time, you know, but I just woke up and I thought, you know, there it is. There is my fucking now, true brain. Can I wouldn't have personally out. banned Bowser, but it was Sargoy who banned Bowser. He cleaned it up. Sargoy has always been like the head Janny here, and he always cleans it up. Sargoy has been a mod for years on this channel, you know. Everybody clap, give a round of applause for Sargoy. He cleaned it up. For years. Back since late 2016. Sorry. Oh. oh, fuck, buddy. You're just what a disaster. It could be worse. It could be worse. What a nightmare. People. It could be worse. You know, I, I try to teach people about organization on tabletops, you know? It was all good, bro. Because I have, like, this fucking, like, OCD compulsion for things to have a specific fucking order. Like, even to the point where I put the lid on a fucking pen, I can't put the lid here on the pen. The lid needs to be perfectly lined up with the fucking words. And, like, not only slightly lined up, but, like, centered. It needs to be fucking completely symmetrical. You know, it needs to be centered down the fucking words. And my whole life, I needed it to be that way, you know? But Everything has order, you know, in surfers, fucking surfers' mind. And I mean, that's why I'm interested in math and fucking physics. Surfer is the new uh, Jordan Pearson. Now, Sargoy asks, is the math with Surfer actually happening? Not one day. It should happen tomorrow, bro. You should really just deliver math with what Surfer. What about fucking learning Hebrew with Surfer? Press one. Hebrew Press with one surfer? for learning Hebrew with Surfer. Press two. For for learning math. math is surfer. What do you think? Biblical Hebrew is surfer or math is surfer first? One for the Hebrew, two for the fucking math. The surfer thinks Hebrew, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty even. Well, now the twos are flooding in. What was the two? Was that math? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll do math first. You know, I really do like math. It's pretty even. Yeah, it looks like two's winning by a little. So, and then you want to take a paper towel. You see, I put the paper towel on top. And I fucking... Oh, fuck. And I leak out the liquid. Guys, press one. If Jesse of Pot Awful, on his own, single-handedly made Dick Masterson a cow. Press two. If Jesse only succeeded in making himself look like a dipshit. Jesse's a fucking, just like the fucking Jews in the new project, too. Like, he literally fucking flagged, fucking, he gave fucking video game Snake a fucking copyright strike for fucking re-uploading your fucking content on his show. Yeah. You know, he tricked you into doing content behind his fucking paywall like a Jew. And then when we tried to share that content publicly, he fucking copyright struck it. Just like a fucking Jew. You know? Oh, I got no respect for Jesse, that Jesse's guy. based, bro. He single-handedly carried the simpspiracy. Jesse's a fucking garbage creator and a fucking Jew. And I fucking had enough of all the fucking bullshit, you know? No, I don't sleep like naked. I big L fucking fed up with the bullshit. It's how fed up with the bullshit surfer is. I fucking you know, sleep with my pants on. Chinese military vaccine in fucking Canada. My fucking iPhone wants to fucking contact trace me in the latest update. Like, legitimately, it fucking does. Look at this fucking shit. I go into fucking settings, I go into fucking general, I go to software update and just read it. <laughs> it says the update is going to contact trace me for COVID-19. Like legitimately, that's real. I didn't think it was actually going to be real, but it actually is real. You know, I'm set up with the fucking people in chat are saying you should let Apple trace you because the data is safe. It's an American company. 
Yeah, except for they do fucking all their manufacturing in fucking China. You know, it's it fucking nonsense. Whoever's fucking running Steve no, Jobs esoteric company into the ground, they just want to piss in their mouth. Esoteric yeah. PPPism is pointing out like perspicacities in the chat while I'm live streaming. But what he fails to understand is right behind me, I'm signed into the perspicacity account and I'm typing. I'm typing and people can't hear it because I'm, I'm a silent typer. It's true. It's true. They want, they want to extend the lockdown because of a second wave of this T fucking like, this fucking common cold bullshit. You know, like, Did anybody fucking see the libertarian presidential debate, lads? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Just on the topic of Surfer being fed up with the bullshit, everyone needs to watch Based Anomaly. Look up Anomaly, you know, A-N, he spells it A-N-0-M-A-L-Y. Anomaly is probably the most based fucking creator on YouTube that's left. You know, all the real based guys like Brother Nathaniel have already been fucking banned. You know, the only reason we're still allowed to exist is because we're fucking not quite that big. Lads, lads you know? Vermin Supreme, though, is the front runner for the Libertarian. But based anomaly is fucking, fucking based. Based anomaly is fucking solid. The most solid there is still on YouTube. Legitimately. Yeah, that's right. Vermin Supreme is the front runner in the libertarian debate. He was in it tonight there. I haven't watched it yet. Maybe we'll do a, a live reaction to Vermin Supreme and the Libertarian Party. The guy literally strips naked. That wasn't this year though, was it? No, that was like a couple years ago. That was like that was twenty sixteen to be honest. White protagonist says anomaly seems half brain dead. Well, you shut the fuck up. That's based anomaly you're talking about. I don't know, bro. Anomaly might be half fucking Mexican, but the guy's fucking. Anomaly's a pretty basic base bitch, bro. You'll fucking see on that. Anomaly, pr not. pretty basic bitch anomaly there, you know. Anomaly's fucking based, buddy. Anomaly's. Like, you know, he's no Brother Nathaniel, you know? Like, he's not fucking unreal, like someone like Brother Nathaniel. But he's, like, the best that's left on YouTube, is what I'm saying. You know? I think we're the best thing left, buddy. I'm the best thing since wrestling. <laughs> I don't know. I try not to toot my own fucking horn that much. No, I... Who else will? <laughs> if I don't jerk myself off, who's going to, surfer? Will you? No. That's what I'm saying, so I have no choice. <laughs> hey, so a surfer's gonna have three of these and leave the other fucking two for PPP, so I'll try to get three of the smaller ones. They're asking, will surfer open an OnlyFans? No, but you know, I think, I legitimately think fucking PPP should open an OnlyFans. <laughs> I get more skeeter to view it. I think I'd be so joked. If PvP be an OnlyFans with just a picture of his asshole and then like some feet pics or some weird shit and got fucking Worski to review it. I think that'd be fucking Worski cool. should review my OnlyFans. Sargoy thinks I'll make more money than Surfer on OnlyFans. I don't know. Well, Surfer's probably not gonna go on OnlyFans because there's nothing really jokes. Like, like I don't know, like... PPP just sort of has like a jokes body fucking structure for OnlyFans, but Surfer doesn't, right? Like I'm fucking in, sh I'm, I'm not really like in shape. Like I could gain 30 pounds before I'm fucking in shape, you know? But like I'm fucking like have normal enough of a body type that it wouldn't have the same comedic effect as the fucking PPP. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'll get you a plate, please. I don't know. I really want to see the video where Worski reviews PvP's OnlyFans. I think that would be so funny. I don't know? think he like, ever will. You know. Yeah. 
Didn't he say that, like, Geek Thulu fucking told him not to meet us in fucking Niagara Falls? Yeah, it was Geek Thulu. That... He actually wanted to? Yeah. So maybe he wants to review your OnlyFans. <laughs> Yeah, esoteric PPPism, this is the end. It's cooking with Surf for 20. It's over. This is the final video. No, we won't fucking die out. We will come back. If we have to stream through OBS on a fucking laptop, I will learn it. We will stream it through that fucking laptop. Because you know what? We still have this fucking chicken. Next, cooking with Surf for 21 is going to be this fucking chicken. It's Portuguese style. It's the Portuguese, Portuguese style. flavor. I don't know if we've done lamb spadini. And it will only... Cha, 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 hold on. Have we done a lamb spadini cooking with surfer yet? With the fucking lamb spadinis? Because if not, they're fucking unreal. Sid Harrison says spadini. no. They're saying no. Well, you know, episode 22 will be lamb spadini, you know, but we won't die. We won't let Susan... Or any other shady fucking kike fucking murder this shit. No, surfer, no. We'll keep it fucking going. Well, fuck the kikes, buddy. Well, I, I think... And the, they're fucking locked down. And they're the preferred shit. term... The preferred term, once again, is K-slur. <laughs> and I'd prefer it if you'd use the term J's, to be honest with you. Um, it's not acceptable, Surfer, that you're using this type of language on my show. Uh, I need to keep the sponsors happy, Surfer. Buddy, I woke up jizzing about coins the other day. So if anyone can talk about kikes, it's fucking Surfer. That's just the reality. That, oi, is, merely, oi that is merely the obvious. Oy vey. <laughs> oy vey, Surfer. Oy vey. There you go, buddy. Here we go. You clear yourself a bit more. Uh, slightly, yeah. See, there's your fork. You want a knife? Oh, it'll probably be all right, don't you think? Or... Yeah, you'll want it to cut it, get the fucking separate uh, meat from the shell. I don't know if it's fucking really still hot or anything. With all this ranting. <laughs> yeah. But it still looks sort of good. Like here, if I move these fucking books. Under your couch over here, even though I got this knife in my hand. I should really put it down before I'm running around the kitchen. Like a fucking troglodyte. But you see, here is the meal. Looks pretty good, if I say it so myself. You know, the noodles could be a bit warmer. <laughs> but I've got ranting, you know. And that's alright. They're still all good. Corn goes nice with the noodles. I'm not gonna lie, actually, I'm just gonna eat the lobster with my fingers. I'm gonna tear the motherfucker out of there, you see? You got nice meat. Pretty good. Yeah. Could maybe be a bit more flavorful. I could put more garlic on it or something. It's pretty good. What do you rate it, Surfer? Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Yeah. It's pretty fucking good. I could have, once again, it's my first rodeo with these lobster tails. I could have done a bit of a better job. I could have made them a bit more flavorful if I had perfected maybe a bit more garlic. You know, but they're still pretty fucking good. You know. Well, they could be a bit juicier if I didn't leave them in there for that extra seven minutes. You know, but they're still pretty good. The corn and the noodles go really well together. The colors match. You know, the colors match well. 
So overall, about an eight point pocket too. It's nice. But that's probably it. And that's nearly the obvious <laughs> on this fucking round. Well, yeah, that's it for this fucking special episode of Cooking with Surfer. Juice chat. Fucking defy the lockdown. Don't let these fucking Jews keep you fucking down. You know, if an officer tries to give you a ticket for going outside, don't tell him to fucking suck your cock, because then you'll probably get fucking arrested. He'll probably try to be a hero and make an example of you. But just calmly say no, and turn around and walk away. And they'll tell you, they'll try to intimidate you into coming back, but really they have no leg to stand on. Just, calmly just tell say them no. you're a sovereign citizen. <laughs> it's, no, it's civil disobedience. Just calmly say no and walk away. That's all you need to do. Don't fucking give in to the contact tracing. Don't get the fucking Jew vaccine that fucking Justo is trying to fucking force upon us from China. You know? And advocate to fucking cut off all fucking immigration from China, cancel all of the debt, say all of this debt our country owes you China, we no longer owe you, it's canceled. And freeze all of their assets and give it back to the people. Yeah. That's what needs to happen. Until next time, you know, and that's just if you put me in a fucking black box and you never hear a surfer again, <laughs> you know, then you know something fucked happened. <laughs> you know, but until next time, chat, 